And the winner of the Sarkov Prize is jailed Ukrainian filmmaker Oleg Sinstov. Well, joining, we're going to listen in now just for a moment and we'll be getting more uh, on that prize in just a second. I have the honor to announce that the presidents of the political di attribuire il premio Sakharov 2018 prize 2018 a Oleg Sensov And uh, joining me now live from Brussels is Euronews correspondent Shona Murray. Uh, Shona, the Sakharov Prize has been awarded some very prestigious names in the past, such as mm. Nelson Mandela, Aung San Suu Kyi and Anatoly Marchenko. Can you tell us more about this prize? Well, it's, essentially it's the European Parliament's version of the Nobel Peace Prize. It's been around since 1988 and delivers uh, awards and credibility and credit to people who have spent their lives uh, suffering for injustice and defending uh, human rights. Uh, as you said, Nelson Mandela received it, Dennis Mukwege, uh, Nadia Murad, both uh, have received it in the past. They're two people who received the Nobel Peace Prize this year. So a long list of people. As you mentioned, there, as we just heard there a moment ago, uh, Oleg Sensov uh, has been awarded the Sakharov Prize this year, um, a very noble person. Um, he was uh, arrested in Russia in May 2014 after protesting the annexation of Crimea by Russian forces. He was sentenced to prison for 20 years for um, accusations which have been widely um, you know, found to be um, you know, false accusations of plotting terrorist acts against uh, the Russian regime. He is said to have been treated quite badly during his arrest and is uh, living in very inhumane uh, conditions in prison as we speak. He was nominated by the EPP. Amnesty International, uh, part of his lawyers have said that he's, he's still suffering because he was on hunger strike since May of this year. He lost a dra dramatic amount of weight. He was on hunger strike for nearly four months. So his health has seriously de deteriorated. So he was actually somebody who people had thought was going to take this prize. Of course, the other two runners up, the NGOs who have been saving lives of migrants and refugees in the Mediterranean, and Nasser Sevzani, who is a Moroccan activist who is also in prison um, on trial for... Um, uh, for also um, being anti, engaging in anti-corruptive and corruption activities, so three very worthy nominees, of course, but all extensive taking the prize this year.